morning viewers from whichever part of the world you're watching us from. This is uh, the International Missionary Society uh, at the University of Zambia, here in Zambia. And we are so glad to come back again with our Family Life series where we are talking about different issues that affect us as families. As you might be aware, families constitute the church and eventually the church constitute the membership of the church in heaven. So it's very important that we look at practical issues that are affecting us. And a breakup is basically uh, a termination of a relationship that existed between a male and a female who intended to eventually get married. But because of one or two reasons, uh, a termination is a result. So that two parties who are initially in a relationship uh, end up going different or separate ways. That's how I can define it in very simple terms. All right, yes. Is it biblical? Yes, actually, that's a question that may be boggling a lot of youth who are in relationships. There are some people who have been stuck in relationships because they feel, ah, I'm a Christian and I cannot do such a thing to my brother or my sister. But actually, breakup or termination of a relationship that is not working is biblical. Why is it so? You see, when you are in a relationship, you are building a foundation for how your marriage is going to be. So you will not say, ah, no, we are Christians, let's just move. If you see that things are not moving, you need to terminate a relationship. Now, regarding the biblical foundation of a breakup, we have one classical example. There are many other examples that we can give, but there's one classical example in the New Testament, which you can find in Matthew chapter 1, uh, reading from base um, 18 to 20. You'll find here is Mary and Joseph. They were in a relationship about to get married, but it was found that Mary was pregnant. And what did Joseph resolve to do? He wanted to break up the relationship. So that shows us a biblical foundation that we can actually break up if we see that this relationship is not working on biblical ground because for that context, it was regarded as an effectiveness for Mary to be found pregnant when actually she was still in a relationship before marriage. So you can see that there was a reason for a breakup. Or in other ways, if you are in a relationship, you find your partner is as impregnant as someone or your partner is pregnant. You cannot say we are Christians, we don't have to hurt ourselves. You can actually terminate a relationship. So we see that there is a biblical foundation. So thank you for mentioning one of the examples yes. of uh, how a serious situation can lead to a breakup. Yes. But another question I would ask is how serious does a situation have to be for you to consider a breakup? For instance, is it right to break up over, over something as simple as I don't like my lights on? Maybe you discuss that and you find one of you likes their lights on when, you, when it's bedtime. When you talk about relationship, you are trying to learn a few basics about each other. So you need to, re, to be very deliberate in terms of understanding the likes and dislikes, the tastes and detests of your partner, so that you iron them out. But try to be as frank and open as possible. Because if you hide, that will start haunting you when you enter into marriage relationship. So if you know that you have sensitivity with regard to just turning on lights, start talking about it right away in the relationship so that when you are in your marriage, you don't end up breaking up because of lights on or off. There are people who have broken up because, or not broken up, they have divorced because a partner didn't know where to press the, the cogate from. And they, they take each other to court and they break up. You would have mentioned that and said, I like cogate pressed in such and such a way. I like butter spread in such and such a way. And you find that you actually reach a compromise. But such should not really be big reasons to say, then let's break up. You can actually find a, a point of compromise. But I gave a classical example where you find infidelity and faithfulness. You may say, no, this is not taking us because anywhere, because they may not stop. A partner may not stop. 
There are many people who have crucified themselves in such a way. Say, my partner cheats on me, and maybe I'll try to change him. When he marries me, he'll change. They do not actually change. So when it comes to the reasons for a breakup, we actually need to weigh. Is it something that we can iron out before we get married? Or this problem, even if it may appear to disappear, it may resurface when you are married. You see, when you get married, if you look at other series that we have discussed, there are a lot of challenges that come. You may provoke each other, you may, you may get disappointed with each other, but that's a room where, that's a space where you need to um, tolerate each other, encourage each other, and build each other's characters. So you may find that if someone was a serial humanizer or fornicator, that would be used as an excuse to, for them to go back to those bad ways. That's what I can say, uh, Brother Leno. All right, so it seems to me that from your perspective, you are saying there's nothing too small not to consider when it comes to this. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so uh, we'll proceed to the last question. Since breakup is possible, how can Christians do it without breaking a law of God? Right. Quite a very important question and matter to be considered by every Christian. But I think even if you're not a Christian, you may consider how best to break up with a partner. The very first point I would love to mention is wisdom. Use wisdom to break up. Put together your intelligence. Do not break up out of uh, impulsive feelings, but apply wisdom so that you don't cause injury to the uh, other party. Then respect the privacy of each other. We are living in the world of social media never today. Back in the days it was not so. So you find that people may sometimes uh, go into a relationship on social media, they engage and they are put these flowers, you see they, they practice these days. And then the relationship fails to work. And then they come back to social media to start insulting each other. No. It may not be insulting each other. Every woman, every man that perhaps you related with must be respected. You must respect their privacy. You cannot get a few things that you learned about them to start throwing them like beans in the public. You have committed sin. You have messed up the reputation of that individual who has been purchased by the high price of the blood of Jesus Christ. So you need to respect uh, privacy of every party that you are breaking up with. Let the relationship last ways be the last ways. You cannot go and start scandalizing. Even if things didn't go well, usually uh, what happens is each one wants to appear holy or holier than the other party. No. We need to respect the privacy of each other. If you are the one who has initiated the uh, breakup, respect the person that you are uh, breaking up with. That is going to be honored by doing so. And then the next point on how to do this is don't be rushy or abrupt. Especially if you do an abrupt relationship breakup for a woman, it means a lot because our sisters are more emotionally wired than us uh, men. So if you do an abrupt breakup, who knows? Maybe the sister may have a BP. The BP may shoot up and she may collapse late you would have been uh, considered as a murderer in the sight of God. So you need to be gradual, take one step at a, at a time until you prepare your partner to actually be ready to receive the message of a breakup. It's a very bitter pill in most, if not all cases. But if it is not working as a relationship, it is not a sin to break it up. What must be avoided is being abrupt. Unexpectedly, the relationship is ending for no clear reasons that may actually cause so much pain. But even if you have good reasons, like I already mentioned the first point of using wisdom, you need to be wise enough. Do not uh, put aside wisdom. Try to find a way of smoothly breaking up and that uh, may actually help in a greater way for each party to go with their own dignity without causing any harm. And then we have the next point. Do not create reasons. Have 
points, from missing points to the point where even the person that you are breaking up with will say, ah, this person is genuine in his or her own reasons. So do not conjecture reasons. Have convincing reasons for a breakup because remember, you'll be asked the question, a relationship is, private, is public. So if you break up, people are asked, so why did you break up? Oh, because of this and that. But if they said, well, I broke up because she liked turning on the lights, people will laugh at you and they'll say, you are lacking wisdom. So you need to use wisdom and make sure that you have solid reasons. And when you ask, especially elderly, when they ask, why did you break up your parents? You remember the last presentations that we have made, uh, we mentioned that parents must know about your relationship, the very how it starts. Any relationship that you are involved in, if your parents don't know, you are stealing. Thou shall not steal. In fact, you can say you are robbers. So do not enter into a relationship without the consent of the owner of a daughter and the owner of a son. That is not allowed. Pray about it. Pray to God that he gives you wisdom, the courage to speak words such as we will not offend any party. And then present your case at the right time. What am I talking about? Is there a right time to break up? Yes, there is. Don't break up when there's a funeral. Your party is mourning and you say the relationship has ended. Don't go to say a breakup message with somebody who's maybe preparing for exams. Don't go uh, and say a breakup message when somebody is celebrating. They are celebrating maybe their birthday. That's when you go and say a breakup is here. That is going to be an offense, not only to the part that you're breaking up with, but also in the sight of God. Don't forget every woman, every man that you're related with or you're relating with, is God's property. So you cannot break their hearts just like that. You'll be found wanting uh, in the books of heaven. One of, your, of the reasons would be that somebody's planning a holiday. They want to go out and then say, I'm breaking up with you. You're going to mess up their holiday, their enjoyment. So mind the timing and that can really help you. Don't forget the issue of prayer. It's critical because God will give you a way to speak, a way to react. Face the breakup yourself. Do not WhatsApp. Do not post Facebook. Do not SMS. Do not email. Do not even use a third party to say, go and tell her that it's over. No. Or you go to social media. These days we have social media. You just say, it's over. I'm now enjoying my own life. That is a seed. That is a selfish motive. You need to go and face this party that is involved and tell them, my dear friend, because of this and that reason, please this relationship cannot really uh, go on. And then accept your mistakes. No matter how holy and innocent you may appear to be in a relationship, you also have a finger in the, in the pie. So you need to accept that in one way or the other, you also contributed. And please do not forget to ask for forgiveness. For all the errors committed in whatever way, ask that you have your errors, sins forgiven and break up peacefully without causing any harm to each other. And then be cautious, be polite. I already mentioned that point. You need to break up in a polite way. Don't insult each other. In many cases, especially among the youth, breakups become a very violent uh, platform where now people start exchanging insults, uh, disrespect, and so on and so forth. No, you need to be cautious. You need to be polite. You need to be respectful. And then do not start another relationship as a reason to break up what you are in. There are many people who break up because uh, they have found another person. No, you can't do that. That is stealing. That is actually breaking of the last six commandments. It says, you shall love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. So you cannot do harm to your friend whom you have been in a relationship by going to another person, then you come to break up because you have found a better one. That is a sign seen in the sight of God. And then two last points. Give room for healing. Don't move from one relationship already you're going to another one. That is also offensive. So give yourself room to heal. When you're settled, that's when you can transition maybe into another relationship. And then besides that, you find that during this time you are managing emotions, emotional damage. Try to channel that energy towards something more constructive. You can be studying, you can go in the row for a short course, you can maybe engage in writing, or just 
do other activities that can make you uh, heal from the breakup. And then, last but not the least, treat your, your, your partner, your, your former partner, like it could be a sister or a brother. You are brothers in the faith. You are brothers in the family of Christ. So do not treat them as your enemies. They still continue to be your brother. They still continue to be your sister. Don't say, not me. Once we break up, that is it. No. Remember, there is life after this life. How are you going to relate in heaven? So you need to actually make sure that you continue with Christian relationship and go in your rooms, your separate way, go kneel down before God. Pray for your, uh, for your former partner. Pray for yourself so that God may forgive you. If there are any sins that you committed together, ask that God forgives you and God will be very happy to forgive you. But making clear and deliberate intentions that when you enter into the next relationship, you are going to be more mature, more uh, um, um, informed to make the right decision so that you don't keep breaking people's hearts because that may actually continue even when you get married. So basically, these are the thoughts that I wanted to share on how best we can break up. Break up is biblical, but do not break up with selfish motives because it is the transgression of the law. God. May God bless us and thank you very much. Never. Thank you.